Hey everyone and welcome back to VFXY once again. So in today's video we are going to see how we can use ST map to project any video on our 3D render. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Okay, as you can see over here, I am having my comp and I am having some projection over there. So before jumping to this script, I would like to tell you that this is not a finished version. I am still working on it. If you want, I can make a detailed video about this script as well, right? So let me take you through what I am having. So basically, if you can see, uh, I am having my 3D rendered uh, data. And if I'm going to show you my contact sheet, so I am having pretty basic scene setup where I am having my UV, I'm my depth, my specular emission, my ambient occlusion if needed, and few utility passes along with my crypto mat, right? Also, I would like to tell you that I am having my video which I want to project and also i am having my background so multiple things i have done i have done pretty basic setup i'll take you through one by one but here i want to tell you that i am going to use st map and uv map for two places one place is i want to add more dirt on my emission pass also i want to project my video on top of my screen so for these two things i'm going to use so let's start one by one okay so i am having my texture and over here if you can see i am having my emission pass which is quite dull so what i'm going to do i'm going to add few dust and scratches as well so first thing first i'm going to reformat this thing so once i'm done with reformatting you can easily see i'm having my hd but if I'm going to use a ST map, so in ST map, I need to give input of my UV pass. So let's shuffle my UV pass. So I'm going to use shuffle node. And if I'm going to shuffle over here, if you can see, let me put one over here and let me shuffle my UV pass. So this is my UV pass. Basically, if you want to know more about UV pass, I have already made a separate video on that particular subject so in st map i'm going to use my uv pass and also i'm going to use my texture in source like this so if i'm going to see nothing happens but in st map if i'm going to use uv channel rgb if you can easily see i'm having my texture wrapped on my tv screen or whatever cg i'm having but this is not correct i want my texture to be in specific space right so to fix that thing what i am having i am having my uv set as per my object so i know this is my tv screen so if i'm going to see this texture is of square 2k so what i will do i will just go over here and i will reformat my texture on as per my uv set so i'll go over here and i will choose square 2k right so this will be my texture again i need to place my texture as per my requirement so what i will do i will take a merge i will take this as a background just for now and i'll take this for as a foreground and i'll use transform now i will transform this thing as per my requirement so might be i'll uh, decrease size and if needed i can lower down my mix so that i can see what i am doing so let me do this might be i'll lower down more like this as per my requirement and if I can see I'm having my textures perfectly aligned. Now, if I'm going to see my texture, you can see nothing changes. But if I'm going to apply my source from transform, you can easily see I'm having my texture in a proper manner. So this is the power of UV map and ST map. Now, if I'm going to see my alpha, I'm having a alpha solid, but need not to worry. Also, we need not to worry about these things like artifacts. So to fix that thing, what I will do, I will just go over here and I will take a node called crypto mat and I will select my crypto for this, right? So I'm having my mask. 
but if i'm going to use it as a mask let me show it to you i'll take a i'll take b and i will say mask so now i'm having this thing but also if you can see i'm having my artifacts because in st map i'm having these jaggy edges so if i have to fix it it's pretty simple i'll go over here and i will take a transform and i will scale it might be 0.1 or 0.05 like this and now if i'm going to mask it if you can see i'm having perfect edges like this right now what i can do i can take a grade node in my emission pass like this and i'm going to connect mask to this thing but since i'm having my alpha solid over here what i will do i will say grade node for masking use a red channel as a mask because if i'm going to see through here my red channel is as it is can you see that this is perfectly fine now i'll go over here in grade node i'll go and i'll start decreasing this thing so if you can see i'm having my grunge as it is like right? so i'll increase a little bit and i'll grade it as per my requirement can you see so this is something i wanted so one thing done now let's start using same uv map and same st map to project my video on screen right so uh, to save some time as you can see over here i am i am having my video and i added some crt monitor effect if you want to know this thing in detail i have already made a detailed video on this i'll request you to check this video right so just to show you i split it all channels and i multiplied my video with this texture which is red green blue phosphor dots kind of stuff right i copied this animation just to add some distortion if you can see i am having distortion like this so i have used this information to distort my image or footage also i am having this thing which is a line is coming from top just to color correct few things like if you can see i am having this color separated kind of stuff also i defocused it also i used glow multiple glow to glow or to give effect of crt monitor kind of stuff i copied alpha i reformatted it right and same way the way i used to do my grunge map i transformed my this entire texture as per my requirement if you can see can you see that if needed i can scale it more but i am happy with whatever i am having right so i transformed it now i am going to take one st map this is my uv pass so i'll add my st map over here and for texture i am going to use this thing right and now if i am going to see nothing happens but if i'm going my uv channel to rgb and you can easily see i'm having my video projected on that particular uv set right but again same way i'm having artifacts need not to worry i'll take transform node and i will scale it might be 0.05 and i will take same crypto i'll take merge i will connect this crypto i will arrange it like this and i'll mask it so what will happen also i am having my video neat and clean right and once i'm done i'm just going over here and i'm adding a merge node and i will merge on top of my screen like this right so yes if i'm going to show you my final output Mm, i can see it's not matching the way it should be right so again it's tweakings also my reflections are not uh, where i want it again i will take a merge node over here and let's add it on top of my second screen like this and if i'm going to show you can you see my reflections are back if needed i can take a grade node and i'll increase it 
So again, as I said earlier, this is not a final output. Still, I'm working on it. So let me show my previous comp and you will have idea that what I am doing. Okay, so same way, uh, my screen, I used ST map, transformed it. I did some uh, saturation stuff. I masked it out and I started grading my stuff as per my requirement. So I added a grade node. I did some multiplication with my grunge or emission because I wanted these grunge on my texture. So I multiplied that thing with my texture. So if you can see, if I have to show it to you, my grunge is coming as per my need, right? Apart from that, I uh, took a grade node. I added glow, very soft glow. Although I am still working on it, right? So need not to worry. I will finalize that thing and definitely I'll come back to you. So this is my uh, reflections. And if I have to show you, this is my monitor and this is my texture. And also I started adding few things like uh, this is my background and in fact, this is my background and it started tweaking it as per my requirement. I added some volume light kind of stuff. Also, I added few volume lights on top of my television just to merge these things. And if you can see, it's coming out pretty nicely. It's not final. I'll show you my final version in coming week, right? But at this point of time, I decided you guys to show you how I have used my ST map and UV pass for this project so that you will have an idea, right? Apart from that, I added a camera shake, vignetting and then final outputs. So this was my take that how I have used ST map and uh, my UV pass. So I hope in this video you have an idea how to use UV map and ST map creatively in your projects. So I hope this video is helping. And if you think that this video is helping you, please don't forget to like this video, share this video. And if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. With this said, this is VFX Vibe signing off. Have a good day.